Welcome to yoga. Let's begin in a seated position on your mat for some gentle wrist stretches. Just bring the tops of your hands together like reverse namaste and gently rock your hands front and back, increasing the blood flow and mobility to your wrists. Now extend your arms straight out in front of you with the tops of your hands touching. And as if you had a hair tie holding your wrists together, begin to roll your namaste, keeping your wrists together the entire time. Keep going in one direction, never moving in a place of strain or pain, just increasing blood flow with this gentle movement. And then switch direction. This is a simple way that you can warm up your wrist before any practice. Now shake out your hands. Meet me in extended child's pose. With your knees wide, your arms out long, rest your forehead on your mat for this integrative yoga pose. Integrate your world, your life, everything off of your mat into this moment so that you can show up. and rise up into a tabletop on your hands and knees. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling and roll out your wrist. Then thread the needle. Come all the way through, down onto your right shoulder, right temple. Deepen your breath. Now de-thread the needle and reach your right arm high, pivot onto your left leg into a modified side plank. With your right leg straight down on your mat, you can stay here or lift your right leg up for an extra challenge. For three, next is a low lunge, so pay attention. Two, you're gonna step your right foot through. And one, step your right foot through to a low lunge. Sink into your hips, pull forward through your chest. And next is a three-legged down dog. Press down through your hands as you reach your right leg up and high behind you. Stretch out through your left leg as you roll out your right ankle. Press into your hands to push away from your mat lifting your hips up a little higher. Then lower your right foot down, traditional down dog. Notice how it feels. Then lower your knees down to tabletop and let's switch sides. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling and roll at your wrist. Thread the needle. Come all the way through, left shoulder down, deepen your breath. Now de-thread the needle and transition to your side plank, left arm high. You can modify with your right knee down, pivoting your right foot to support you. And if you did on the other side, reach your left leg high. Find your strength, find your calm. Next is a low lunge. Lower your left hand down, step your left foot through. If it helps, grab your ankle with your hand, pull it up. And sink into your hip. For a three-legged down dog, plant your hands down, curl your back toes under, reach your left leg high and back and roll out your ankle. Then 
and left leg meets the right for downward facing dog. Stretch your chest and shoulders and the back of your legs. Take small steps towards the top of your mat for a deep forward fold. With your feet about hip distance or wider, generous bend in your knees, grab onto your elbows and let your breath travel up and down your spine. And feel your upper body hang heavy as your breath creates space. Release your elbows and interlace your hands behind your lower back for a chest expansion. Press your knuckles up to the ceiling as you roll your shoulders open and let gravity take hold. Then gentle release, hands down to your mat, crouch and curl. Squat down into a tiny little ball, forehead towards your knees and release whatever might be holding you back today. Mental, physical, emotional, you're here now. So let it go and be here now. Next inhale, rise up into a halfway lift, drive your heels down, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, fold, plant your hands, step your feet back into your high plank for chaturanga, Lower down halfway like a reverse push-up, elbows, graze your ribs, look at the screen to modify. Next is upward facing dog, press up through your shoulders, open through your chest. And then when you're ready, send it back to downward facing dog. We will do more chaturangas throughout this practice, so listen to your body, skip or modify whenever appropriate. On your next inhale, look up, bend your knees. As you exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat, lightly land. Halfway lift as you inhale, then forward fold as you exhale. For chair pose, sit back into your hips, reach your arms overhead. Feel your weight in your heels, lightness in your toes, and a softness in your shoulders. Then reach your right arm back and your left arm forward, adding an open arm twist to this chair pose. Set your gaze on one spot so you can focus and lift your left heel off the mat. So you're propped up on your left toes and when you're ready, gracefully, gently, slowly, step your left foot back into a low lunge with your open arm twist. If you find that you're pretty wobbly today, try adding a little smile, a little lightness to your practice. Now from here, to transition into a star pose, I want you to first lower your right hand down and reach your left arm high as you tick tock your arms and pivot your body open as you turn your hips to the left, finding a full star pose facing the left side of your mat. Your body is big, bright and open like a star. Then from here, settle into warrior two facing the front of your mat with strong arms and a tight core. Sink into your legs and add reverse warrior. Reach your right arm high. Reach up through your fingertips, big breath in. And as you breathe out, cartwheel your hands down to the mat, plant your left hand down and step your right foot back into a side plank with your right arm high. And you can modify with your left knee down. Use your muscles to stabilize you. Your core is tight, holding you up. For three, two, one. Lower your right hand down in chaturanga, high to low plank, elbows graze your ribs, or you can skip it. Upward facing dog if you are going through the vinyasa. Then exhale, send it back to downward facing dog. Look up to your hands, bend your knees. Step or hop to the top of your mat. For halfway lift to lengthen your spine. Then forward fold. 
find chair pose. And reach your left arm back for your open arm twist. Set your gaze. Deepen your breath. And lift your right heel, propping up on your right toes. When you're ready, step your right foot back. With your legs in your deep lunge stance and your open arms, slowly tick-tock your left arm down, right arm high as you open your body up into star pose facing the right side of your mat, nice and big. Big breath in. Settle into warrior two as you breathe out. And take a moment here to find your strong warrior. Then keep your legs as they are and reach your left arm high for reverse warrior. Big breath in. As you breathe out, cartwheel your hands down, plant your right hand down for your side plank. Left arm high. And if you modify on the other side, make sure you do so here as well with your bottom knee down. For three, remember next is chaturanga. Two, you can always skip it. I did the first couple of times I practiced this. And one, lower your left hand down, chaturanga high to low. Upward facing dog as you inhale. To downward facing dog as you exhale. Find your breath. In and out through your nose. Slow, calm, and deep. And when you're ready, we'll flow that sequence one more time, one breath, one movement with fewer cues so that you can flow. Inhale to look up, bend your knees. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat for halfway lift as you breathe in. Forward fold. Chair pose, inhale. Open arm twist to the right, exhale. Lift your left heel, inhale. Step it back, exhale. Inhale as you open up into your star pose. And exhale, warrior two facing the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior, right arm high. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, side plank with your right arm high. Inhale to hold. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Inhale, look up, bend your knees. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Left arm back. Inhale, lift your right heel. Exhale to step it back. Inhale, open up into your star pose. Exhale, warrior two, get strong. Reverse warrior. Cartwheel both hands down for your side plank, left arm high, big breath in. Chaturanga high to low as you breathe out. Vinyasa through to your downward facing dog. Great job. Your body responds to what you demand of it. And by learning to harness your energy and use it when you need it and rest when you don't, you're building a muscle that will pay off in your practice on the mat and in your life off your mat. From here, step your feet all the way through, take a seat on your mat and come to lie down on your back. Pull your knees towards your chest for a full wind pose. Relax your lower back. Then extend your left leg long for half wind and take a big inhale, press your belly towards your thigh. 
Exhale to pull your knee across your body and reach your right arm straight out from your side. And make your way back to center and switch legs. Pull your left knee in, right leg long. Big inhale, belly presses into your left thigh. Then exhale to release your belly back down. Pull your knee across your body and extend your left arm straight out from your side. Then come back to center, pull both knees in, and add a little rocking motion if it feels good for you. Or take any other posture your body's calling out for. And when you're ready, release into your final Shavasana. You've done the work. Now it's time to rest. So relax and rest, body, mind, and breath. Becoming the master of your energy is learning to harness your energy, to find the balance between work and rest, spending your energy where it is needed and not where it isn't needed. And this simple practice transforms you from a compulsive being to a conscious one. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And then roll over into a fetal position on your left side. Using your hands, press yourself up to seated and bring your hands together at heart center. From the light in me, to the light in you. Namaste.